I want to first start talking a little bit about this drum. These drums uh, have a spirit. And this is something we always acknowledge as a singer. So we take great care of how we are when we're around these drums. Because we know these were all a life at one time. This here is a buffalo. These are a buffalo hide. And that spirit of this drum, they uh, often to refer to this as the heartbeat of Mother Earth. And this is at the center of all of our gatherings. So no matter what tribe you come from or what area, most drums, most tribes have drums. However, there's different protocols, different songs, different uh, meetings for different tribes. So whatever region you go to, there's going to be different teachings of the drum. So myself, I'm going to teach you what I've learned. I've traveled across the nation singing and um, listen into drums. I've been a powwow head drum judge and I've got to judge many drums and uh, I've taught these classes for many years so they could get very intense. This is actually a lot of classes wrapped up into one really quick overview. So we're going to learn a lot in the, these few moments that we have together and I just want to give you some of the basic fundamentals and teachings and awareness of this drum. But one of the things, you know, that we often will do is, and before we even do this, is to smudge, you know, smudge your drum. And a lot of times, you know, we'll come in, lay our hands down, offer tobacco, you know, to this drum and pray, pray. And often you'll see drummers all put their hands on the drum and, and they'll pray. It's always a spiritual thing. Because when you're singing for the people, that also brings that goodness, that life. You make the people feel happy when they're out there dancing. Or, you know, you're going to touch people's lives in many ways with these songs, that strength and that power of that music. So it's a very sacred, sacred thing. So we always want to take care of it. And being, having said that, there's no alcohol, no drugs. Those are things that we cannot be under the influence when we're around these here drums. So these drums you'll see in a lot of our ceremonies, a lot of the powwows, a lot of the gatherings. This one here was made by my, my friend, Tinker Watt. And uh, this here is a double-sided um, drum. And, and it's, for this occasion, it's, uh, I'm, also, we use it in ceremonies, but it's uh, also a good drum that I like to show because the power drums are really huge, and uh, this is pretty portable, and it's I, so I travel with this drum everywhere I go. So today, um, some of the teachings that I, I hope that uh, we could learn is just a few things about this this drum because this is always important to understand and um, just the care of the drum and to store it always if you do have a drum if you do make a drum that uh, they are made out of certain materials and out of that certain materials just like you see in the drums they also have different sounds and depends on the animal such as the deer which has a thinner skin or the buffalo or a bull cow or a horse elk they all have different sounds because of the thickness of their hide so this here is like a deep deeper deeper pitch and with a deeper pitch you sing um, let's say, for example, that's a good one for a powwow drum. So this is kind of a versatile drum for me. This is why I like it so much. And right there, 
is the honor beats. Honor beats. Usually there'll be one singer and uh, there'll be a lead singer and he'll dictate through his hand motions many of the things. And if we were in a detailed class, we would sh show you some of these class um, steps of, of hand motions. You know, like we're going to stop. We're going to do a pickup. One more. And you're pointing over there to your partner for his turn to lead. We're Indians, so we like to point with their lips. <laughs> so sometimes, for example, if you're being judged, you know, all these uh, judges will be around your drum. And you also got to keep your drum clean. And everybody's got to be there and be present. They can't be wandering off. They got to be there at the drum. And all the drummers, they have to be participating. So as a singer, you, it's your duty to also learn these songs. So many of these drummers, they practice for hours and hours and hours, several times a week. And uh, they become very, very good and well-known singers. And if you're very well-known like that, you could travel across the nation and have, you know, your crew with you and travel. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of experiences. And we got to do that several times. And they're just memories that we'll have for the rest of our lives and uh, experiences and adventures. So those are a lot of things we could talk about someday. Um, but sometimes, just like right now, um, I've been asked by my uncle to go to a, sing for a funeral next week. So these are also songs that we have to learn. Um, there's a huge variety of songs and uh, sometimes I'm asked to sing birthday songs, uh, memorial songs, I've sang at weddings, and I've even composed my own songs. So you might have seen me at some of the videos of Stan and Rock. And uh, since Stan and Rock, I've traveled across the nation and I've composed different songs. One that I'll share with you today for the missing and murdered indigenous women. I've sang songs for the water, the women, for unity, and many different things. And uh, I'm really grateful to be a song composer, as well as to hold my own traditional song. So today I'm going to concentrate mostly on powwow songs, because that kind of gives you a big uh, diversity of the powwow singing styles. But I'm going to do a quick overview of some of the other type of styles of singing and explain that to you. So here we go. So what I'm going to explain a little bit more here is just a... Uh, some of the power styles of, of drumming. Um, so what makes a song? The song starts with the, the lead singer. So if you're the lead singer, um, and usually there's other drums around, and you've got the next song where you're called upon to sing, you got to know that song right then and there. And you is your crew that's with you around the drum, they also got to be present, ready to sing. You got to have your drum area clean, and you got to be ready to sing with all your heart and your all your might. It's like a spiritual workout singing because it's really intense inside. You got to use your whole inner vibration, I guess you would say. And uh, you know, they they taught me to sing. You know, from your diaphragm down here. Not to sing with your throat, because if you sing with your throat, you know, you're going to get sliced. They call it being sliced, meaning you're going to, ah, not going to have any voice. So you got to learn how to sing from down here, deep below. And you'll see some of the singers, they'll, they'll pinch their neck. So I, I never was able to do that. My neck's too big. Some people, they'll close their ears and sing. So, however it is, you know, that you feel within you, you know, to, to do your best, 
to sing and just to enjoy it. But you also want to practice because one thing um, you'll see some of the newer drum drum groups. There, that's off beat, off beat. So this is the rhythm. And if somebody is off beat, they throw the whole thing off. So as a beginning drummer, this is really critical to follow that lead singer. That you always, if your lead singer is drumming at that height, you, your stick should be at that height or lower. You know, you, you should be way up here trying to drum. Keep your, keep humble, low. There's different hand signals that I'll use. Like if somebody's off beat, I'll point to them, to the edge here. And that means just to get their edge. And just like life, you know, sometimes you get off whack and um, out of control. Well, it doesn't mean you got to exclude yourself and step away from the drum and get tossed into the other room. You just come here, right to the edge. And you, you find that rhythm, you find that beat, and then you get back here and you join again. So that's a life lesson for you, right there. Just to always come right here, you're part of that circle. You're always part of that circle. So you just follow along, get on track, learn, get with it. So this here is a drumstick and the drumsticks uh this one here is made by a man a legendary man and uh um so he, he just passed away this last year too um so anyhow uh this is a, a stick that uh, you'll see it's kind of got a cushion inside a little cushiony whether it be leather inside then it's uh wrapped with leather and uh you want your sticks a little bit flexible bendable and your grip so the lead singer is going to start off the song whatever the song is is going to do the lead <clears throat> means everybody pick it up so that they, they just repeat what he did for the lead so everybody would sing and we go into the song that first part then the second part the chorus so this is a chorus the second part oh, yeah. or the honor beats so that's just like with the dancers when you see them lifting up their fans and and lifting up their prayers you know in, in honor of that and honor what would the the drum you're honoring it with them them beats so only usually one singer um would be doing that down beats while everybody else just keeps on rhythm so you're going to keep on rhythm And that singer would do that honor beats. 
So, again, that's one verse that we went through. You'd repeat that four times, but also within a song, there's going to go up and down. So sometimes the songs, they'll start out nice and easy. Then, then by the second verse, they'll pick up. And by the third verse, so you're just really rocking. You're going, going, everybody just, the song just picking up tempo, picking up rhythm, picking up speed, picking up power. And boom, it ends. Sometimes they'll put a tail on it. it means one, one half, half a verse. Some of the songs they'll they'll just die down really slow, you know, or they'll they'll end with a lot of power. So every song you'll 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 listen to, and you also will talk a little bit more about the two styles of singing. There's one that is contemporary, um, and that's a little bit more lively. A little bit more rock and beat. Often those will be with lyrics. And with lyrics I'm saying is uh, a lot of the tribal languages is, is are used in those songs. And um, so they'll you use those in the contemporary songs. Um, some, but the straight style in the original is a lot with just the harmonics, the vocables. And um, those are sometimes easier to learn. So we're going to start with that. So we'll go on to this next step. You guys ready? Any questions? Any concerns? All right, then. Well, I hope you're enjoying this class so far. Normally... This would be days and days for us to sit there and learn and listen. And so I'm doing a lot of talking just because these are really key, important things to to understand. And no matter where you travel, you're going to meet other singers and they're going to have different teachings. There's going to be different teachings out there. So it's just being humble and, and to always be open to learn, to learn more, and but to practice. So whether one instrument that you have for now is just a drumstick, you know, when you're traveling down the road, you'd be drumming on that little steering wheel. That's what I used to like to do. So I used to travel and just sing, sing, sing. That's one of the things I could do. So on the power trail, you got to travel between states, different states. Be there for grand entry tomorrow in California. So all night you're just driving and you're singing singing songs keeping yourself awake and keeping your trip enjoyable and also being prayerful you know no matter where you travel so if you have one thing just try to get a drumstick this is uh i know you've been hearing me talk a lot so i want to share these uh few songs just some samples, okay? I'm not the best singer in the world. There's a lot of beautiful, strong singers. I just been doing this for a long time and I've uh, taught a lot of people. And uh, this is just part of our healing too, is learning songs. But also it's a quest for each and every one of us to learn more. So this is an inner tribal type of singing with the power of singing. So this is, uh, good way to start and to just get your feet wet and just to learn because this is the most common that you're probably going to hear is powwow singing um just because they have cds readily available everywhere you go so this is just some of the songs um i'm going to start with the old style old style song old style beat they call it the straight straight song or original style
just straight, straight style, old style. And the beat is just a good, firm beat. A lot of power. I, I love those songs. And um, I'm going to try a contemporary song. I haven't uh, sang contemporary in a while. My nephews, they really like to, to, to sing contemporary. But with the contemporary, it's the beat. It's a little bit more lively, a little bit more uplifting. You're also going to hear a lot of uh, war hoops. So that's one of the part of the songs that I like to do, like the hoochah, hoo -ha, hoo -ha. So you'll hear a lot of those too, a lot of the screaming, the war cries, the ooh -ha. You know, that's when you're really feeling that power, that strength. Those, those are just accents into the song. It just really just brings a lot of feeling and brings the song to life. So if I had a full crew, I would be busting those out. That's one of the things I really love to do. Sometimes you have a woman backup singer behind you, and she'll she'll also get into it too. And at the end of the song, sometimes you'll hear her do her lee 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 lee, or, or she'll also be singing whatever we're singing here. She's going to accent with her beautiful voice and just create this a beautiful power that male and that female energy. So, you know, backup singing women, beautiful. <clears throat> I'll try my best to remember the song. So, let's get into Slow It Down. couples and uh, that's there it's sung in my Okanagan language so there's a lot of songs that have our Indian language and have meaning that one there just talking about everybody we're here to have a good time so we're, we're here everyone have a good time so there's a lot of good songs um, that are sung and for many different purposes, many different reasons. That there's the round dance. Uh, another uh, style that you'll hear really common is a crow hop. You feel that beat. Sometimes it's the drummers versus the dancers. So as a drum group, you also all have to stop on this time. You always got to keep your rhythm. And um, sometimes your songs will 
meant to trick the dancers. So this one here is a double beat. This is also a crow hop style, but this one here is from the crow people. So you'll hear mainly men get this dance style, but there's women that get it too. Nowadays it's more common. So next one is a sneak up. Sneak up is like one of those warrior songs they're talking about going into battle and sneaking up on your enemy. That one there kind of has a little tricky um, beat to it. And that's just the same thing. You're trying to trick the dancers. Some of them, they'll stop too early. Some of them overstep. And that's kind of the notion of some of these songs is trying to trick the dancers. So they have to start to study in you. They're going to have to start buying your CDs and, and listening to your music and paying attention to your drums. So you're not going to... They're not going to get bucked off, so creating those sort of beautiful songs brings that good attention from the dancers and respect. <clears throat> this is here's a jingle dress sidestep ladies song. Sasa Quay uh, from the Big Lake. Region Chipwe. and they're just moving, it's hard. They gotta go in a circle, a lot of times on their tiptoes, and that's a hard song for them. Southern, let's try a Southern. This is a Southern fancy. They call it a Southern bullet. So I'm gonna just quit to the chase, because this is how fast these songs can go. These are usually for the men's fancy dance.
southern, you kind of see at the middle of the song, they have three, three of their honor beats, just that transition between that first chorus and the second chorus. A lot of the singing is really low tone, deep, beautiful singers, and often they'll have um, plenty of backup women singers too, and just beautiful. And they have different songs, which is, I really love their gourd style of singing and just like a lot of the really deep traditions and uh, the tr deep um, commitment and knowledge of their, their songs. So they have some beautiful songs. One of the songs from my people that people know is the Duck and Dive. And this is a, a song about the warriors. And if you go and research the Big Hole Battlefield in Montana, um, this is one of the songs that our warriors, um, I guess you would say, was an honor and song of what they did because they helped save the people by their bravery. And their bravery was is that morning they were attacked at the first light of dawn. And when they thought they were safe. So women, children, elderly were getting shot at while they were sleeping in bed. But it was the warriors who went out there and brought um, attention to themselves, war hooping, blowing their eagle bone war whistles. And then they would duck down and as they see the howitzers shoot their cannons over them. And they did that twice. And on the second time, they came up and they charged that howitzer and took it over, dismantled it. And they charged and got the cavalry at bay and kept them at bay so all the people could escape safely. So this is an honor and recognition of my Nez Perce people. <clears throat> and uh, this is a... Uh, Often a song that you'll hear, you know, for the men warriors, men traditional dancers, uh, the veterans. <clears throat> um, also with this duck and dive, the crew, they have a version they call the spear and shield dance. And then I heard this other Canada, Canadian has a version. I don't really understand where that originated or who started that, but uh, this is um, this Purse, the Plateau.
that song you see where it stopped, then it just started again. They call that the tail. So that just that one little push more, one push. And uh, so that's, you'll hear that occasionally on some songs, especially older songs. And some of the older songs will start with the rim. So them are just a few of the different uh, styles um, that I'll share with you at this moment. Um, but uh, one of the things I also wanted to um, explain is some of these songs are very old. Very old. That one there is from the 1800s. Um, another one um, that is also songs like the Chief, Chief songs. And this is one of the songs that I, I really learned when I was starting to sing. And to me, I envisioned this chief song um, when days of old, say, for example, if you were a singer and Chief Joseph was riding his horse by and you were singing the song, how would you sing to him? How would you sing? You'd sing with a lot of respect and passion and belief in your song and um, to honor these warriors, these leaders. So in my heart, my mind, this is one of the songs I train, train myself to sing just to remind myself and to learn that little bit of passion within singing. <clears throat> so I'll do a verse. Lastly, um, you've uh, seen um, what I could offer today. I just want to close her up um, with one of the songs that we heard at Standard Rock. Because nowadays, our warriors are still standing, and we have to pay recognition to that. And I asked you all to look into... Um, documentaries and films of Stan and Rock and you'll see many beautiful powerful songs that were sung and you'll see them singing with that same commitment that same belief that same power of prayer into the songs because when you're at the front line and you're facing on certain moments of violence fear danger and the harm to all the people and you're singing for the protection for your relatives around you and you're calling for your ancestors you know to be there in a prayerful way these songs were so so beautiful and stand and rock so explore those videos and, and uh, learn a little bit about that and uh, hopefully that you know if you feel in tune to go to the front line one day and you carry your drum just be warned that you may be called up to the very front to sing. So to also to learn some of these songs that you'll hear in activism of today. And um, you'll for one song you'll hear like the women's warrior song. That's a really uh, a beautiful song. 
<clears throat> but I'm not a woman, so I can't sing that song. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This, uh, this is one. I'll try my best. I just want to pay my respects to my brothers and sisters of who we stood together at Standing Rock and to the warriors that are still rising up today and to learn these songs. They're powerful. They give you strength. And you'll know know that when you're at the front line. You'll you'll feel that and you'll feel that call and you'll feel that power and that strength that comes from this. Same with them gods on the other side of the line. They will also feel that too. And all of the brothers and sisters and relatives around you, they're going to be uplifted by that. So keep learning. Keep drumming. Keep singing. Go to YouTube and hear some really amazing singers. One of my favorite um, drum groups is Northern Cree. Another one I like to dance to is Midnight Express. And Young Spirit, they're a really great contemporary um, drum style. And when I, I usually like to practice my dancing and dance and, and some of these uh, singers. And locally in Washington, you'll hear like Black Lodge singers. They're pretty well known. Um, Indian Nation is a great old style um, drum group. Um, so there's different uh, Groups that you'll you'll hear and you'll identify with if they're old style, they're contemporary, or if it's a round um, hand drum, round dance type CD or music. Now you'll be able to explore music a little bit more, and to know that there's tribal languages that are also in there, and some of those round dance they'll have. English words sometimes they're really hysterical too funny and sometimes there's these activism songs like the missing and murdered indigenous women or that Maniwachoni song that I just got done singing or the aim song the aim warrior song and that's another song I really love to sing so take some time go on YouTube go however it is to to search you know and to learn continue to just enjoy this because it's healing as well. There's time in my life I went through hard times, times that I was struggling, but I just came here, sang, 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 and man, this brings so much good goodness and feelings to you, uplifts your spirit. So just like that, when you sing, and and the people who dance to your music, they're gonna be able to feel that too. And those people who, they may be hurt at a memorial funeral. They're going to call upon somebody to sing. And maybe you'll have that song. Or maybe you'll go into the sweat lodge and you'll have a good good song in there. Or a spiritual song. Or you go to the sun dance and learn them songs. Or whatever it is that you explore. you know, Or even some of our ceremonial songs. You know, power songs. Different songs that you may come to learn and love and enjoy in your life. I just want to say thank you for giving me this time to uh, share a little bit of education with you. And for me, this has been really enjoyable too. I, I love drumming and I really wished we were sitting there together because I would answer your questions best I could and you know we would uh, just have fun. 
That's what it's about. Fun, enjoying yourself. And just always remember that this is a place to also uh, have, be humble and have a lot of respect. You take good care of these drums, they'll take good care of you. Thank you, my relatives.